Hey y'all, welcome to Convos and Concoctions. I'm keeping the title. Welcome. It's day 45 of the lockdown. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting through this, you know. Uh, congratulations making it this far. Uh, my beard's still growing out. Uh, my hair is still an effing mess. But I'm going to get through this. And while I get through this, I'm going to teach y'all how to make a simple classic drink. It's one of my favorites. Whenever I go out to a Mexican bar, I make sure that I get a margarita. So simple to make. Tequila lovers, I mean, of course. I mean, some people are afraid of tequila. I don't know why. Like, they think of that bottom of the barrel shit that really has you, like, effed up the next day. But yes, if you drink it in moderation, it's not that bad of a cocktail. So for a margarita, all you need is these basic ingredients. So I have my tequila. Um, I have Espelon, one of my favorite brands. Now, my friend um, donated this to me at a party. It's Jose Cuervo. And y'all know I'm not a big fan of Jose Cuervo, so I want to experiment today. I cut up some jalapenos, and I put it in a bottle like this, like so. Uh, let it soak for 24 hours. And I just wanted to get like a spicy margarita. I'm going to see how that tastes right now. You're going to need triple sec. A little bit of simple, and most importantly, fresh lime juice. Now make sure it's fresh lime juice and not the rosa lime. That bullshit is disgusting, and if you ever made that for a margarita for me, we can't be friends anymore. This is fresh squeezed lime juice, so yeah. Let's start, shall we? So I'm going to try it with the spicy tequila that I made the other day. This is the Jigga. It's two ounces, one ounce. Two ounces of tequila, one ounce of triple sec. I can smell the spiciness already. Side note, I put in one jalapeno, but then I was like, uh, it could be a little bit spicier, so I put two jalapenos. I hope I didn't make it too spicy. Anywho, one ounce of lime juice. That should be enough. You never know. Like with lime juice, it could either be too like tart or it could be just right. I'm going to just do... A little bit more and simple syrup to balance it out I would say half an ounce all right so you're gonna shake this 20 seconds have another glass already filled with ice so I can just strain it you got that nice Foggy tint, add a little bit more ice for volume. Let's try it. Perfect. Mmm. This is so good. Uh, one second, I need a straw. So you can taste all of the ingredients. And that's how you make a classic margarita. Easy as fuck. Normally, I would have my nigger rig microwave table on top of my luggage. And I would have to move everything because I'd be worried about knocking it all over. But I think I can continue the video now just, you know, talking. Thank you again, Andrea. So appreciative. And if y'all don't know, Andrea is a supporter of the channel who um, just surprised me with like a cash app with enough to pay for a portable bar table. I am just beside myself with appreciation. I really am. Like this is amazing. Like because I love making drinks for y'all. So I am so appreciative. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank her for having me have this set up. It's so much better than what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm just going to get into a couple of topics before I end the video. Since, you know, combos and concoctions, I usually want to have a friend. Once all this stuff is over with, I will have a guest so I can interview or whatever. But for now, I just do some hot topics. One of the reality stars from Little Women Atlanta passed, unfortunately, yesterday from an alleged hit and run. 
Just so terrible. Like, I never watched the show, but definitely I've seen memes all over social media. I'm pretty sure y'all who watch it or whatever were shocked to hear such news. So, rest in peace to many. So sorry to hear that. So sorry. Now, I was wondering, like, why is everyone talking about Dennis Rodman all of a sudden? Why are we talking about, like, Carmen Electra? He dated uh, Madonna and Tony Braxton. I was like... What is this resurgence? What does this have to do with anything? And I guess I found out that there's this special on ESPN, which is why I don't know, because I don't watch ESPN, something called The Last Dance, like with Michael Jordan or whatever. And it's just like this documentary, I guess, um, that mentioned Dennis Rodman. I don't know. I mean, good for Dennis Rodman to have this, um, this resurgence of relevance, you know? SZA is accused of skin bleaching. Damn, leave my girl alone. Come on, I, I don't believe that. So the story we did on Pop Roast about Jennifer Williams and saying she got scammed, someone stole her car, her ex or whatever, her ex released text messages of her threatening to expose Evelyn Lozada's daughter. One of the messages saw Jennifer telling Arano, that's his name, that she was planning to expose Evelyn Lozada's daughter's nudes. I hate these messy uh, B words. Evelyn made me want to slap the blank out of her. You know what? We're four minutes into the video. We, we should be able to curse already. I hate these messy bitches. Evelyn made me want to slap the shit out of her. I should have leaked her daughter's nudes. I could have exposed her ass, she allegedly wrote. Now this is trash. Like, if you got something against Evelyn, fine. But you a... Uh, a low-down, dirty hoe if you're trying to, like, go after her daughter. Hopefully, hopefully, this is false. But knowing Jennifer, she low-down, I probably wouldn't put it past her. And can y'all please stop comparing me to her? I think I've evolved past being compared to Jennifer Williams. Thank you. Now, a topic that we didn't cover on Pop Roast was the whole Andre Leon Talley versus Anna Wintour thing. And what I have to say about it, I mean, come on. We all saw Devil Wears Prada. It's one of my favorite movies. I had the DVD. I watch it maybe like uh, once every three months. We know she's a cold-hearted snake that's incapable of human emotion. We know that. I'm guessing she like used you and then just like threw you away. Um, it's really strange that he's waiting till he's 70, but I'm guessing it's more so like a Quincy Jones thing, where it's just like, you know what, before I croak, I'm gonna tell my story, I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna live in my truth. And yeah, like, you know, people are in your life for a reason and a season, you know, and I'm guessing he just stayed too long with this frigid woman, not capable of human kindness, and claims she dumped him for being too old, too overweight, and too uncool. Damn. And Wendy Williams, earlier this week, she commented on the whole situation, and she was putting his tea out there saying, yeah, um, yeah, I knew how Andre felt about her. And then what Wendy does, she usually puts her foot in her mouth, but she insulted Andre Leon Talley by saying he's um, missing a backbone and said that if she came calling back to him, that he would come running back to her. Like, come on, Wendy. You don't need no more people that hate you. Like, please. Speaking of, I haven't been catching Wendy Williams' show. It's just been so boring. I think I'm going to wait until, like, she has an audience again. And lastly, professional coons Diamond and Silk have been fired from Fox News after they promoted conspiracy theories on Dorona. And, yeah, they were, Diamond and Silk were an embarrassment um, to the black community. They were uh, shucking and jiving on Fox News. For what? For what, really? I mean, were they getting paid? Like, I think I have more respect for the people working for the chicken gift cards that Mona Scott Young gives out on Love and Hip Hop than Diamond and Silk. Like, good riddance. I hope they fall into oblivion of relevance. And yeah, that's all I got to say on that. So yeah, uh, I'm probably going to make one more of these. I'm going to make it with a regular tequila and just see the differences. I hope you enjoyed your margarita. 
Um, I hope you can try out this, you know, recipe with the uh, jalapenos and the tequila. Once again, like, comment, and subscribe. What's next? I guess Tall Order is next, where I, you know, I tell Chris is business. And the Real Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills review. So, yeah, I will see y'all soon. Thank you.